Hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here. I'm back with some more Pokemon Red. Today we're going to be continuing on with uh, the route, <laughs> with the game route. Uh, so something that happened was uh, some of the tra trainers up ahead this route I fought, but uh, it wasn't recorded. Like I messed up on the thing, so I don't have footage for it anymore. So yeah, so but really all it was that I did was just fight the trainers. So, nothing too special really happened. I don't think they used any new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet, other than I think Farfetch. But I don't even I don't even remember if we've seen that one yet. So, I could be just talking on my ass right now. <laughs> uh, but what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going back through the route just to show it off because I didn't really do that, and also just to get the items that I couldn't get because I didn't have Cut with me which I now have my cut Pokemon with me, which I guess I didn't fight this guy, so... Oh, I forgot. I have to go into the frickin' menu to do this? No! Alright, Oddish, cut it up. Cut that bush up. I have to fight this guy first, though. Easy come, easy go. I don't know why, but this guy has Magikarp still, even though it's past the level that it should evolve into its evolution, which is way better than Magikarp could ever be. I don't know why this guy has this guy. It probably gonna have another uh, level. Yeah, 24. Look at that. Raise your Pokemon better, dude. Like you call yourself a fisherman? I have a better water Pokemon than you. I've raised a better. I've taught her the laughs always. Better the lives of <laughs> the ways of life. If I could learn how to speak English, that would be good. English is hard, guys. Remember that. Oh, what the bush reappeared already? Come on. Really make me waste those seconds in the freaking pause menu, huh? Game. All right. Fine, I'll deal. Not gonna like it though. Meh. All right, and now for this one. Let's see what lies behind door number two. A lot of grass, it looks like. Please tell me there's more to it. Nope, it's just grass. Great. So I guess this is just like the the access to Pokemon on the route, which I guess I didn't really talk about that really much either. The water Pokemon like depends on what rod you had. You can get like the best ones with the super rod, which you can get up at the top of the root. Uh, root. Uh, and. Most of the grass ones are ones we've already encountered before, so it's not much new that I can remember. I think the only new one coming up that you can catch is uh, Doduo, uh, the flying type uh, Roadrunner Pokemon. Uh, but that's about it, and I need to make my way back because I went the wrong way with this maze. Uh, it's not even much of a maze, it's just like, I guess it kind of is, but it's just annoying is what it is. Alright, but... Unless, still did it pretty alright. Wasn't too cancerous. You got, but you gotta like sometimes enjoy the the cancer moments if you're gonna um, enjoy a game. Cause every game has its one moment where it's just like, oh, this is cancer. At least most games, I guess. Though I guess, eh, not every game is perfect. So I guess I mean, by default, every game would have a cancer point at some point. But hmm. It's like whenever I watch people do uh, these challenges in different uh, games or speedrunning and stuff like that, there's always that one cancer moment that's just like, uh, oh, I guess you can catch Pidgeotos here. That's that's cool. You're s probably better off just catching Pidgey way earlier on and then just raising that up because it would be better than just catching the Pidgeotto, but I guess uh, whatever suits you, I'm not going to judge. Your choices behind what Pokemon you decide to go out and catch, right? I caught number one. I'm not sure, like, uh, what do you guys think of my team? I think it's pretty good, huh? I think it's a good balance of has some uh, physical mofos on it, but also has, like, the special covered. I don't think I have any glaring weaknesses from what I looked at. 
it uh, seems like all the bases are covered. I could have maybe done if I could have maybe like gone with like a I don't know a fighting type just to take care of normal ones easier, but eh. They're not too bad to take down anyway. This guy's level 33. Well, wow, that's kind of high-ish. Because all the other ones I fought here were like 20-something. Like 29 or, or a little lower. I guess it depends on how many Pokemon they have. They'll be higher level if uh, if they have fewer. Because, you know, the, I guess the logic is because the levels will be spread out more across them instead of just all focus on one. So I guess that's the reasons. Is there even I pretty swore there's an item at the end of this. I'm not sure. I don't. Oh yes, here it is. <laughs> okay. No more room. Let's see. What can I get rid of? Oh come on. Oh, I guess I can just get rid of this. Toss the axe accuracy. I. I don't need it. TM20. I don't remember what that is. I'll check at a later point. But well, that's the route shown off with all the items taken out of it. So now we can finally explore what is the beauty of Fuchsia City and its glorious, fabulous pink, if you, if I do say so myself. Might as well uh, make use of the cut that we have so that, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center to, I don't think I need to heal up really, but I'm gonna do some item depositing so that I have more room, because I'll need more room for items in this coming part that I'm going to be doing. It's uh, kind of plot important, I guess. Well, at least for progressing with the game it is. Okay. My PC. What items can you do? I, I wish there was a way to check the TMs, but there's not. I guess I don't need the silver scope anymore, so I can just put that in there. And let's see what else. This. And I don't need the Poke Flute, so I can just put that in there. And. Oh god. What's this? Is that Fly? Yeah, it's Fly, I think. And I'll use that, but I'll put that in there. Alright, I think that's good. And I don't think I need to heal my Pokemon, because for... Believe it or not, for this next area, I won't really need them. <laughs> I know a, a part of the Pokemon game, but you don't need your Pokemon. I uh, never thought I'd see the day either. Anyway, let's cut our way uh, through here. And... Hacked away. You got hacked, kid. Alright, and... There is pretty much like the zoo area right here. Has all these different Pokemon exhibits. That's Chansey, that's cool. The egg catching Pokemon, or the egg Pokemon, or whatever. Looks like a Pokeball over there, but it's a, a Voltorb, I know. Uh, so hard to tell the difference, am I right? And there's a Lapras in there, I think? Uh, yeah, because I guess the idea is, like, Fuchsia City is like the tropical, well, not tropical, but like the nature kind of city that has, like, the wildlife and stuff like that, which... Explains why the city has this coming attraction right up here. The Safari's Safari game, Pokemon you catch. This is a infamous part of the game. So, well, welcome to the Safari Zone. Would you like to see the band episode? Uh, for 500 Pokemon. Okay, okay, well, whatever you say. Would you like to hunt? Uh, yeah, sure. 500, please. Yeah, because I need to use it anyway. Now, I do not plan to catch. There's no particular Pokemon I plan to catch here, but if I do see one, I'll try to catch it, I guess. Because basically, the way Safari Zone works is you encounter random Pokemon in the Safari Zone in the grass, of course. Uh, and you usually they're rarer than normal, so I might see like uh, this is kind of common, I guess. But and your options are Ball, Throw Rock, or Bait. I think Bait makes it more like more baby is more likely to stay but harder to catch throw rock makes it easier to catch but uh, more likely to escape and I'll just run I don't really feel like catching that I'll, I'll catch try and catch like a, a cooler one cooler Pokemon so I need to wait my way through this far zone because there's I don't know if I'll be able to get all the stuff I want on the first run because I don't 
explicitly remember the uh, layout as well as I should. Because there are a bunch of items here. I'm gonna do do duo. So, I'll try my best, but no promises. I might just come back for the items at some other point. Well, I got one here. And I should probably use these uh, vitamins so that... It also says how many steps you have. You have 500 steps. And iron. Use that on uh, you, I guess. And then... And what was the other one? Carbos. I think it's speed, right? Or it's... It's probably speed, I assume. I'll give it to Katabra anyway. If you... Yeah, speed, whatever. That's good enough. And I can't get that way. I don't think there's anything else over there, so I just need to make my way this way. There's an item over there. I think I have the time to spare to get it. There's one here. TM-37. I think that's a good one, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> it's a common thing. I don't remember what the TMs are, because they change them every generation, and there's different moves, so... I don't always remember what the TMs are in Gen 1, especially since they don't say. Anyway, I think... If I go this way, it should be the right way. Also, get an item here. Full restore, that's not bad. Fully restores Pokemon's uh, moves and... Uh... Ooh, that's a big model, uh, Parasect. That's cool find. I guess I'll try and catch it, why not? It's got cool lore. Darn the Pokemon. Uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time on this, but... All right, fine, I'll throw a rock. Yeah. What do you like that? Angry Odd Ran, yeah, let's see. Usually you're better off just spamming the Pokeball, but sometimes you can use those to your advantage. Bait sometimes can be good, but it makes it harder to catch. I think the Safari Balls are the equivalent of Great Balls in the normal Pokemon game, and I'm getting a lot of encounters right now, jeez. Ooh, Kangaskhan. This is, uh, I think, exclusive to Safari Zone? If I'm not mistaken, might as well try and catch it. I don't plan to use it on my team, but you know, it's a cool Pokemon. Darn, and it ran. Great. Yeah, they're not the easiest to catch here. Makes a lot of. Ah, oh, damn it! How many steps do I have? Fuck it, I can. I'll, I'll try and make it. Yeah. Well, at least the. It's not time, it's steps. So maybe if I optimize my steps the rest of the way, I'll make it. But, jeez, uh, I, I always miss something. And I'm so tempted because I'm like, oh, should I go back and get it? Or should I just, like, freaking forget about it? I don't know. It's always a tough decision, and I just wasted a bunch of steps on that. But I think I can maybe make it to where I need to go. If I go the right way, at least. No promises on that either, so I need to roll up the sleeves because it's getting a little hot in here. Hot! It's not just me, I swear. Or it's just me. Yeah, I'm just kidding, guys. Alright, so this one's trainer tips. Uh, no, it's not. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> Way to waste steps, Christian. You're, you're real good. Alright. I might just, like... If I see the item, I'll try and get it, but I'm not gonna like explicitly look for it. I might just like come back and get the rest of them if I miss any. And, oh jeez. Oh jeez. No! Oh no. Oh wow, I wasted all that time. Great. It tricked me. Freaking tricked me. I'm not gonna make it, damn it. Oh yeah, sometimes the Safari Zone can get to me as well. Whatever, I'll I'll deal, I guess. I think it's Let's try this way. Oh wait, item. That's pretty good. Max revive and I think that's where I need to go, right? Or no, that's a different one. Oh, there's a Pokemon there. Oh, they're all over the place. How do I get to those? Jeez. Wow, I wow, I didn't even get close. Jeez. Oh, I forgot about all the items. Where they were, I guess. I'll cut back to when I get to roughly where I was. So I'll meet you guys in there a sec. 
Alright, I have no idea if I'm going the right way, but... Ooh, protein, that's not bad. I'm hoping that it is. I feel like it's not, though. At least I got some items to hold me over. I think this is roughly where I left off last time. Okay, I have more steps, at least, than last time, but I need to free up my item box a bit more. Let's use this on um, Snorlax. And let's see. Ooh, item. Ah, yeah, this is where I need to. This is what I needed. And plenty of steps to spare, even though there's a bunch of items I missed. What's this? No more room for items. Great. Now, this is where I needed to go. All right. Hello there, young chap. Ah, finally. You're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our camping prize. Congratulations. You have won. You don't have room for this fabulous prize. Fuck. What can I get rid of? Fine, I'll get rid of this. Alright. Finally. You know, first. Least, yeah, I already read this. Give me the prize. HMO3. Yes, that's what I needed. That is the move for Surf. A pretty powerful water type move. And it's definitely solid to have. And I'm going to teach it immediately to... Uh, teach me to serve to a Pokemon. Yes, I will. I'll teach it to. Oh, the Snorlax can learn. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna teach it to Vaporeon though. Want to learn Surf? Can't learn the four moves though. Oh no. Well, time to replace Water Gun. <laughs> it is way better. Surf is pretty good. It's 95 power, I think, and then 100% accuracy, so it's pretty solid. Now, unfortunately, I still don't have room for that. I'm going to check what the TMs are. Because if they're not good, I'll just trash them, but... Skull Bash. I think that might be useful, so I'll keep that. Egg Bomb. That will not be good for me. TM. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to toss it, honestly. Even though it's finite, can't get it anywhere else, I don't think. Unless you can buy it in the, the game corner. I think this one will be better, roughly. TM32. <laughs> a TM for a TM, great. Alright, let's, let's surf with our new move. Because we got it. new badges for card. Oh, no! You can't surf yet! Well, that just is a damn shame. Well, it looks like I can't get over where that is, unless... No. I think there's an item or two over there, but I can't get it yet. I might come back in and get it, but for now I think I'm just going to waste my steps and just kind of move around and maybe find something in the time I have left. Probably not, though, because I have a lot of stuff around. So it's probably going to run out pretty soon. But yeah, Safari Zone, I mean, it's not one of my favorite areas, but, you know, it's not that bad. It's They've made differences in each of the gens, but this is where it all started. <laughs> and, yeah, catching Pokemon isn't the easiest thing. I could have swore they made it easier in, like, the remakes or something, like, the catch rate's a bit better, but, because, like, this one might be a bit messed up. Because it wouldn't surprise me with the coding issues and stuff like that they have in this game, but... Uh, yeah, it's still not the funnest time, especially when I try to get, like, some Pokemon here. Like, you can get Pokemon, like, Scyther, Pinsir in here, and, like, the one of my favorite Pokemon in the generation, uh, Tauros, uh, Bull, the Bull Pokemon. It's a normal type, and it's really good. Ding dong. Time's up. All right. Well, that's over. Good, good haul. I did get a good haul. I'll come back again for the rest of it, but in the meantime, I'm going to... Uh, use cut to get through again because this doesn't stay cut it grows back real quick and of course there's like a bunch I have to cut 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 get cut 
And now, before I end this episode, I'm going to go over here to, I believe, no, this is not it. How do I get, hmm, I think it's this one, I believe. Ah, yes. Thanks, kid. No one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. HMO4. Which is the move strength, a normal type move that's pretty solid damage, 80 and 100 uh, accuracy. So, pretty solid. And I'm going to teach it to a couple of my Pokemon, actually, because it's HM, so I can teach it as many times as I want. For starters, I'll just teach it to... Let's see who can learn it. Oh wow, not many of my Pokemon can actually learn it. I think Charizard might be able to, but I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'll teach them that. But I'll teach it to Snorlax. In the replace of Headbutt, because it's just a better move. <laughs> I'll keep the other ones because they're they're useful in other circumstances. But for just a normal type move, I need to do damage. Then Strength is good, and it can also. This requires a move, Strength move. So, if we go here and do strength, we can move the boulders and get a rare candy. That is super cool. And with that being said, I think it's time to end this episode. So, next time, uh, and when we meet back here, uh, we're going to go tackle the gym because apparently, in order to use surf outside of uh, battle, we're gonna need a new badge, which I think it's safe to assume that this is the gym that I'll need it in. See you guys then.